Hey everybody, welcome to Bones and Brews, our first true episode here of 2024 outside. Kind of got a nice day here, early February. We're about a week out from the big game day, so why not start practicing, getting ready for some new dips I want to try out next weekend. Uh, some appetizers when some friends and family are together. The one we're going to go with today is a spicy shrimp dip. So we're going to do this, prepare everything for the smoker. A couple items I've already pre-prepared, got them everything ready to go. So let's get started. So what we're going to hear first is I've already cooked up about a pound of shrimp and I chopped that up. When I cooked up that shrimp, just a little bit of oil and some chili powder for that one. And what I'm going to do here is with that shrimp here in a moment is I'm going to take myself just a little bit of fresh lemon. I want to squeeze that over those shrimp. So that's, and then I'm going to take some Worcestershire sauce as well and go ahead and just kind of put just a dash of that over that shrimp as well. I'd rather mix it with the shrimp than actually with everything else later. I want to sit on that shrimp here for a moment while I'm getting everything else ready to go. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take some cream cheese. Now I'm going to use my, my Lodge cast iron little dish here. You can use anything you want. You can use a pan so you can throw it away. Um, this one's only going to use about a half a block of cream cheese. So you may not need a big dish or big pan, but you could also double this recipe if you like as well. Now, like always, when we make our recipes, we try our best to put everything in the description of the episode for you as well. So we're going to take about half of this block of cream cheese that I left. I've had it sitting out for just a little while. So it's nice and softened. I'm going to lay that there in the bottom. And what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to try to spread that cream cheese just a little bit here, just to kind of help it out. I don't want it to be that big block, but we're going to come back and mix things when it's on the smoke anyway. So it does not have to be perfect at all. All right, there we go. Just kind of breaking it up just a little bit for ourselves. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take that shrimp. Now I put that stuff in there, that lemon juice and that Worcestershire sauce. So we're going to mix that together. We're going to lay that shrimp there in our dish as well. Now what I did also is I've already took, I took a little bit of white onion, a little bit of garlic, and some red peppers. So we're going to put those, and I've already sauteed that up as well, so we'll throw that in there. Now you could do this inside. You can pre-make the shrimp and all these veggies on your outdoor griddle as well. However you want to do things to make it easier on yourself. So everything, all of that's sitting in there. We're going to take just a little bit of sour cream on here as well, probably about a quarter cup or so. And then we are also got two cheeses around right here. I got a little bit of freshly grated Parmesan and then some fresh grated mozzarella. You can buy it pre-grated. I prefer to grate it myself. It's just definitely a lot fresher that way. So we're going to go ahead and scoop all that in there as well. There goes that mozzarella. We'll throw that Parmesan on there as well. Now, as I mentioned beforehand, we had already put some spice there on the shrimp when I pre-cooked it, but I always like to bring it up just a little bit. So some spice olive, I've got their smoky honey habanero. We're just gonna put a dash of that across the top as well. I get a little sweet and a little heat with it. All right, so I've got my Weber Smoky Mountain that I'm using today, sitting at about 300 degrees right now. We're gonna throw this in there for probably about a half hour. But about a halfway through, I'm going to come and stir it up, mix those cheeses in together. Let's go ahead and get on a smoker, all right? We're about halfway through the cooking process here, so I've mixed everything up in that Lodge cast iron. We'll come back and check it again here in about 15, 20 more minutes. All right, everybody. That spicy shrimp dip is ready to roll. You can just see it bubbling on top there. Oh, this You can just smell the spices coming out of there with that chili powder that we used early on on that shrimp, plus that little bit of extra spiceology, that little nice honey habanero spice as well. So while this is kind of cooling just for a moment, I've kind of sliced up some green onions. So we're gonna sprinkle some of those across the top. Not only does that give it a good, just a little extra flavor, but looks really nice when you present it to friends and family when it's sitting out on the table before they start digging in with those chips, don't you think? All right. So, this is ready to rock and roll. It's going to be nice and warm. You could use chips, crackers, whatever you want. I'm going to just grab some tortilla chips for this one. With this dip, it's going to be a little thicker, a little heartier. So, I would definitely, if you're buying tortilla chips, get yourself a thicker chip. You don't want a thinner chip as well because you don't want that breaking off in there as well. Or watching your friend <clears throat> just trying, trying to scoop it out and their chip keeps breaking and breaking and breaking. Don't you hate it when that happens, folks? I know I do. So, 
let's grab ourselves a little chip here. Make sure I get a piece of that shrimp, that green onion on there as well. I can see a little bit of that red pepper in there. Ooh, smelling good. Even just dripping on my hand nice and warm. Mmm. Friends, I know I started this episode talking about I was just trying out some recipes this week just to see what I might want to serve for that big game party next weekend. I can already tell you one bite. This is in. This will be on the table. It is truly amazing. I love just that shrimp taste. You know, when I started by, you know, cooking those shrimp, making sure I peeled them, deveined them and everything, chopping them up. And this is a great dish as well. If you have people coming over who maybe they don't want that pork or that red meat, but they don't mind that seafood. This is amazing. Um, on the flip side, remind people there's seafood in there in case you have those people who don't like seafood. So this is truly, truly incredible. Like always, once again, that everything will be in the description of this episode. Please make sure you like this episode. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share it with friends. We've got a few more new episodes coming out here now in the very near future. Now we're rolling into 2024. We appreciate you watching. Thanks for checking us out here on Bones and Bruce.